Hi, Jim Johnson for Accent Help, and I want to talk about a tendency to raise the I vowel, as in kit. So, if you look at the vowel quadrilateral, this is from the International Phonetic Association, and how they represent the vowel sounds. If you look at these vowels, here is the I, as in kit, and here is the E, as in fleece. There's a very common tendency in a couple of occurrences for Americans, and this can happen in other places as well, but for Americans to take their I and move it towards E. Towards that, it may not make it all the way there, so you may actually have to distinguish it with a diacritic that says, oh, this is a little bit lower than this. So it's sort of in that land in between. So it's like an E flat, almost. <laughs> an E descending down a little bit. So that's one way that you could express this. So the two major places where this occur are before an NG sound, as in going, bring, sing. You may hear people very commonly saying going, bring, sing, instead of sing, going, bring, and one of the places you can hear this is when they switch from the E vowel to the I to say being, going into the ING, being, they might say being, staying on that vowel. So it's really common for this vowel to get raised up for many American speakers when it occurs before an NG. Another place where this is really, really common for it to raise up is when it occurs right before an R sound. So as in clear, hear, beer, fear. Many people will say hear, clear, beer, fear. So it almost is fear, someone who pays a fee. A hero will very commonly for many people become instead of hero, more like Hero. Zero, zero. That's a very common raising of this vowel for many, many American speakers. I do hear this a lot with my students in the South, but I've heard it from actors and students from all over the country. It's a very, very common occurrence in both of these positions. For more info on accents overall, check out accenthelp.com. Thank <music> you.